A lot of Americans and a lot of Utahns will soon live near places with new names. The Department of the Interior is erasing a slur that we're going to say once so you understand the story. The word squaw is considered offensive because it was most often used as a way to refer to a Native American woman as a kind of generic property. And that word is all over federal lands. This is the national list. The U.S. Board of Geographic Names has a lot of work ahead of them. 664 places, to be exact. The sites concentrated in the West, where the feds control more land. 50 of the sites are in Utah. They're scattered from Cache to San Juan counties, and you could help name them. The names chosen will transform more than just individual points of interest. We'll go to the south slopes of the High Uintas for an example. The word to be erased is on a peak, and and a lake below the peak, and the creek flowing from the lake, and the basin carved by that creek. Remember this giant list? Every place has some possible new names next to it, but most are just possible inspirations from other things nearby. That peak in the Uintas could become Brown Duck Mountain or Cleveland Peak at the heart of the Needles District in Canyonlands National Park. The canyon, flat, and campground will get new names. Possible inspirations, Cave Spring, Wooden Shoe, Virginia Park, Druid Arch, and Chesler Park. And the ridge on Highway 40 between Vernal and Colorado might get a name connected to other landmarks like Powder Spring Wash, Snake John Wash, Cliff Creek, Pole Lion Wash, and First Gap. You may have some much better ideas. April 25th is the deadline to give the Board of Geographical Names your ideas and opinions. There's a form online and we have a link on fox13now.com.